The Earth's plate tectonics, which had begun with the creation of its ocean, eventually destroyed its primordial continent and subsumed it to the deep mantle. By four billion years ago, the mother continent had disappeared, leaving life on the margins of a fragmented landmass. Inside the Earth, a dramatic change was about to begin. The subducted primordial continent descended toward the core mantle boundary. The wealth of radioactive elements in the primordial continent caused the uppermost part of the core to melt. By 4.2 billion years ago, the newly created liquid outer core was strengthening the Earth's magnetic field, protecting the surface environment against solar winds and cosmic rays. As a result, life could exist on the surface environment. The supply of energy and nutrients through material circulation is necessary for life. The essential mechanism to maintain life is an endless flow of electrons. The first proto-life couldn't survive very far from the nuclear geyser due to insufficient energy. Mutations, however, allowed life to evolve. The more resilient life forms were able to adapt and survive in harsh environments. This second stage of proto-life evolved to make use of the sunlight available on the Earth's surface. They developed a metabolism that converted light energy into electrochemical energy. Moreover, they used sugars to store energy for the sunless night hours. The source of energy for life on Earth shifted from nuclear geysers to the sun. Around 4.1 billion years ago, the ocean was still extremely toxic, killing off most of the proto-life forms within it. Nevertheless, some proto-life forms survived the extreme environment. They developed protective mechanisms to prevent the metallic ions in the ocean water from entering their proto-cells. This proto-life began coalescing into larger and more complex forms. Modern life forms use only 20 kinds of amino acids. This means our ancestors that used the same amino acids were the ones that survived the mass extinction. 
evolution walks a perilous tightrope between continuing and ending. Unstable RNA evolved through ionizing radiation into more durable DNA, making it possible to reliably pass information across generations. And the third stage of proto-life was born. This was the beginning of prokaryotic organisms, the ancestors of today's archaea and bacteria, 